Let us create an additive synth in Pure Data. So, let's begin by creating a new patcher. Go to File and click New, and save it as additive synth.pd, or something along that line. Before we can make sounds, make sure our audio configuration is correct. Go to PD, Preferences, Audio, and make sure your output is your audio interface. I do recommend using laptop speakers at a low volume. One crucial thing is that I highly recommend not using headphones when you're using pure data. You can accidentally create a deafening sound and you can hurt your ears that way. It happens to the best of us, trust me. The way we make a new object is hit Command 1 or go to Put and click on Object. In the empty object, type OSC tilde. Don't forget the squiggly tilde sign. By the way, we can find the list of object names in this pure data reference card. I'll put the link below. So, this object that we just made is a sine tone generating oscillator, or a bleep generator. The number that we type in as the parameter is the frequency. So for example, let's try 440. And to hear it, we need an object called DAC tilde, which stands for Digital to Analog Converter. For now, all we need to know is that we need this object at the end of our signal chain to output sounds from our speakers. So, patch these objects together. Please patch the output of the OSC tilde object to both of the inlets of the DAC tilde object. First inlet is the left channel, and the second inlet is the right channel. Make sure your speaker volume is set low. Then go to this window and click on the box next to the word DSP. This will turn on the audio. And now, we should hear a bleeping sound. Okay, we can expand on this further and create an additive synth. First, turn off the audio. Create two number objects, Command 3 for the shortcut, and then create another OSC object. No need to type in anything. And create an empty object and type in the multiplication sign and the tilde sign. And type in 0.5. This is a gain object. We use this object to lower or amplify the loudness of a signal. So 0.5 means we scale the volume by half, meaning the volume is lower. If we type 1, it won't change the volume at all. If we type 2, it means the volume is scaled to be twice as loud. Okay, create another one, but with the number 0.75 typed in. So, this one lowers the volume to 75%. And finally, create a new object and type in the multiplication sign, but no tilde this time. Object with tilde sign is for signals, such as sine tone generators or volume scalar from earlier. So this one that we just made is purely for doing math. No signal is involved in this object within itself. Now we can connect these together like so. Okay, what's happening here? If we type in 440 in the number box at the very top, the first oscillator will have 440 as the frequency, and the second oscillator will be 880 Hz because 440 is multiplied by 2. So this one is the first overtone in this additive synth. And if you remember the overtones of the piano sound, the fundamental frequency is usually the loudest, and the overtones usually get quieter as they get higher in frequency. So, that's why the second oscillator's volume is scaled by 0.75. It is 75% of the volume of the fundamental. This times tilde 0.5 is there to make sure that as we stack more and more overtones, our speakers won't get blown out. Alright, let's hear it in action. Our synth sounds a bit richer than before. I shall now test your understanding of additive synth implementation in Pure Data. Try to add three more overtones to this synthesizer. Give it a shot. As for the volume of the overtones, it can actually be arbitrary. It's your choice. 
Okay, in a few seconds, I'll show you my version of a simple additive synth. So please pause the video right now if you want to try it on your own. I believe in you. Okay, so here's what I have. Again, the volume of the overtones are arbitrarily chosen, but I did make them quieter as the frequencies increased. Here's what it sounds like. And we can move this number object around and play with this new synth that we have created. Quick PD tip. When we reopen and turn on the audio, we won't hear anything because the frequency value is zero. One very useful object is called load bank object. This object outputs a bang message every time a patcher is opened up. So we can connect the message box with a number on it, for example, 440. And now our synth will have an initial frequency value set to 440 hertz every time it's launched. We can also experiment with the overtone frequency values. For example, we can do only the odd integers. And we can also try inharmonics. The sound of bells have inharmonic spectrums, such as these. Let's have a listen. We were able to implement the additive synthesis concept in Pure Data and made our very first synthesizer from scratch. Great work! Now we move on to subtractive synthesis. See you in the next class.